Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today I have something very exciting for you. We have a new We Are Memory Keepers product. This is a the square punch board and it is supposed to be able to punch squares anywhere between three quarters of an inch up to four inches. So I thought this just arrived this morning. So I thought I'd do a bit of an unboxing and a first impressions for you. That looks like I'm going to need something sharp to open this okay, up. Okay, so with my golden knife, let's open this puppy up. Oh, that one's already open. Now, in previous videos, I've looked at other another punch board being the tab punch board. I'm kind of hoping I can use these in unison. Okay, there we go. It's much larger than the tab punch board. It's it's quite quite hefty actually, as you can see, because there is a massive steel punch in it. It's also quite heavy. And that is it. That is literally everything in the box. Okay, so this is a beast of a machine. There's no actual um, instructions. So what we've got here is actually does, it doesn't do four inches square. It does four by three inches. Uh, okay, let's take a tour. So big punch button in the middle. And we've got both inches and centimetre. Now the centimetres are embossed, so you may not be able to see those. But inches and centimetres on the horizontal and vertical. And at the bottom, and it gives you two two zero lines as well so I think this will be fairly straightforward so let's uh, let's I just want to punch now this is supposed to be special so you are supposed to be able to use up an entire sheet with minimal waste now this is a 12 by 12 sheet of just plain scrapbooking paper so I'm going to start at the maximum which is three by four inches and just see that it's not even going through It's a very heavy punch. Let's try this. My paper. Ah, oh, there we go. My paper was a bit bent. Now, so I've got to line it up there and there. That feels all right. Nice. Really easy. So now I'm supposed to be able to just move that straight along and do another one, which it does. That actually goes under beautifully. So if you were making uh, gift tags or cutting out business cards so obviously this will do three three by four across the top because it's a 12 inch paper I think that last one's a bit on the crooked side but that's because I'm not looking over it directly but more or less they are the same size now one of the things that this is supposed to be really good for is for our planners. Now I've got three planners here. I've got my Happy Planner Vertical. Let's open it up to a vertical page. I have got my Mini Happy Planner Horizontal and my Traveler's Notebook that I have set up with uh, vertical boxes. just want to open up to blank pages to see if we can get boxes to fit each of these so you could use um, all over graphics if you like using scrapbook paper if you want to print a whole sheet of um, patterns in a sticker on a sticker paper you can absolutely decorate the back of that so let me just grab a ruler Let's start with the Happy Planner. So this is in centimetres. So I've got 6.2 by 3.8. So 6.2 by 3.8. Six point two by three point eight. Let's give this a go. Five 
Fantastic. That covers the entire box. Excellent. Okay, so let's try this one. This one is uh, 9.5 by 3.8. Okay, so it's... Ah, I can't do that one. Okay, so I'm going to go to 3.8 this way. It's actually harder to see the embossed uh, numbers than it is to see than it is to see the inch marks. Uh, was that 9.5? And the half centimeters aren't um, exaggerated either, so it's actually a little hard to. I might have to. Uh, one, two, three. This is actually really hard to see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, good. So this should fit an entire box there. I'm going to do it this way so I can see what I'm doing. Got to be careful that the corners of your paper aren't curled up because it will get caught in that. Oh, you can also double check the things on the bottom. Oh, that's good. Okay, the reason these are here is so you can check where your paper comes out. I like that. That looks pretty good. Fantastic. So, whole box covered. Nice. Uh, so that leaves my little Traveller's Notebooks ones. Now, obviously, this is subject to, you know, whatever you have. 3.8 3 centimetres seems to be about uh, one and a half inches because that's what most um, widths are in, in planner boxes. Uh, we've only got to the bottom of that, so that's 5.9. Now, that being a custom one, um, you know, could be anything. But your 3.8, which I might actually, well, it's marked as an inch and a half as well, so um, 5.9. Let's see if that is, that might very well do it. It's the zero. Tiniest bit left over. But this should. Fantastic. Um, I think this is great. It's easy to use. Um, I think I will be making some marks for, say, you know, or put a little, st actually putting a little sticker somewhere saying, you know, happy planner is this, mini happy planner is this, just so it's easy, so I don't have to keep measuring and remembering. Square punch board, easy to use. I bought this one from washylane.com. Uh, Deborah's great. And uh, she got it out to me really, really fast. Uh, but these do come from America, so do be prepared to have to wait for a shipment. Um, will I use this? I think absolutely. I can see myself printing just whole pages of uh, decorative background type stickers and just using these in both the um, weekly sections and in the monthly boxes because it's going to be so much easier to put something pretty in one of those with this so square punch board from we are memory keepers big thumbs up thanks so much for watching my videos i hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to comment down below and subscribe and click that little bell icon for notifications if there's anything else you'd like to see me try out in my videos please let me know below and i'll see what i can do see you in my next video bye